Okay, so at this point, let's just do a quick recap. You had already created your business manager account, and so that's why we're seeing this. We had already created your ad account, and that's why we're seeing this as well. And you might have also added your payment method and done some slight configurations and tidying up of your business manager details. Now, before we can confidently and actually start advertising on Facebook, there's still one more thing that we need to do, and that's to use a Facebook page. So right now, at this point, you don't have any just yet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start creating or add an existing page that you might have. So to do that, we'll go to business settings. And as you can see here in this account, if it's brand new, like what you're doing right now, you're not gonna have any pages. So we're gonna click on add, and we have three choices here. The first choice is to add a page that you already have. So if you had already created a Facebook page before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just simply add it, all right? And you'll type in the name of your Facebook page. So I'm just using this as an example, by the way. So let's just say this is a page that we have owned. We'll just click on add page and you wouldn't have any problems whatsoever adding this. As long as you are the original admin of this page, then it will be added by default. Now, the other way is that you can click on request access to a page. So what it explains here is that your business needs to use this page on behalf of another business. So if you're working as an agency, normally you need to click on request access to a page and the admin of that page or the originator will have to grant you access on his or her end, okay? But let's just say that you don't have an existing page right now and that means you need to make a new one. So we're gonna do just that. It's very simple. Let's create a brand new page. Now there's plenty of tutorials on this out there. In fact, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I would say, uh, hesitant to actually show this because this is actually quite intuitive, you know? But I'll tell you what, I'll just do this for completion's sake, all right? So you're being asked, uh, choose a category for the page that you're about to make. So it's totally up to you. If you are a restaurant or a premise, we're just gonna choose local business. If you're doing it as a company, we just choose company, all right? Let me just go back there again. Uh, that's brand or product. So if you're saying e-commerce, you'll probably choose this. If you're gonna put, uh, position yourself as the authority figure, we'll, we'll click on this one. And entertainment and cost of community. So it's all very straightforward, all right? So I'll tell you what, since this is just a simple task, I'm just gonna click on brand or product. And uh, I'm just gonna give it a simple name. Maybe I'll just call it, uh, all right, so I'm just making this up, by the way, it's not a real thing. All right, BMW Motor Works. I'm gonna just choose a category for this one. You just choose the right category. cars and we'll click on create page so here we are right now we have just created an empty Facebook page and at this point to be very frank you don't have to overthink this part if you don't have to basically use this page forever, if you don't like using this page, you can either change the name or just create another one because it's just that simple. Now, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do some editing and some configuration. So we're gonna click on view page and start putting in some changes that we're gonna do, all right? So at this point, we can click on the, the page here so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna ignore this, all right? We're gonna click X on this, we don't really need that. There's a wizard that shows you that uh, you're gonna start adding some things like, you know, a cover, a profile picture, create a username, and maybe even get some likes as well. So we're gonna do this one step at a time. I'm doing this for the benefit of uh, users who have totally no clue about how Facebook page actually works. So 
Maybe I'll just do this a little bit slower here, then you can catch the drift, all right? Now, first and foremost, let's click on the most obvious one, and that's to add a picture, all right? You can put in any picture you want, and for the fun of it, I'm just going to find a picture from Google. Uh, let's just go to call it uh, BMW. All right, BMW, okay? All right, uh, maybe I'll just go with this nice picture, okay? I'm going to save that into the desktop. All right, and then I'm gonna click on update, upload photo. All right. So you can actually reposition the picture however you see fit. You can even scale it closer, zoom in or zoom out, but I think this is good enough. We're just gonna leave it be. Like I said, this is just a test page, right? When you actually create this for yourself, you probably wanna do it a little bit more seriously. Now, this picture here can be a picture of your own. It can be a, a, a logo of your company as well. It's totally up to you. But like I said, this is just a test that we're doing right now. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cover. Maybe we'll just find another nicer picture or something that's congruent as well. Maybe I'll just go with, let's see. Maybe we'll go with this one, all right? Again, I'm only doing this as an example. It's totally up to you how you want to add your own pictures but at this point I'm not gonna think too much I just want to uh, make this page look more legit and click on upload photo and there we go so it's gonna take a while to upload a picture it might take several seconds okay there we go you can actually drag and reposition it but I think this is, looks good already we click on save And there we go, all right? So you can see there's already a little bit of personalization going on already. Uh, I normally like to click X on the reminders at the top. They normally show that to you when your page is very new, but we don't need that, okay? Because one of the big, I won't say big mistake, but a mistake that I see sometimes happen is that some people advertise their Facebook page with no logo, no nothing. It just doesn't build any trust whatsoever. And like I said, it doesn't have to be this picture forever. You can always change the pictures later on. And uh, to a small extent, you can even change the name as long as it doesn't deviate uh, from its original intention. Like for example, BMW Model Works, you can't actually rename it to maybe uh, Audi or something like that because uh, Facebook just won't allow that, right? But what we're gonna do now is that we'll click on username and we can give it a username that we want. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it BMW Motor Works. Uh, let's see if this exists yet, all right? Okay, so I'm not eligible to create a username, so maybe let's just try adding a dot over here. Does it work? Okay, not, all right. So you can just come up with any name that, that you like until it actually works, all right? So let's just say you're able to create a username, then you have it appear here, all right? Now, it depends on your account. Sometimes you can create and sometimes you can't. And if you can't create right now, you can always try again later. Uh, yeah, Facebook is just like that, all right? The next thing we're gonna do is that we are gonna click on, the next obvious one is add a button. We're gonna keep this very simple. You just say contact you and send message, all right? Now, there are other options that you can do like send email or WhatsApp, but in the interest of time and keeping things simple, we're just gonna click on send message, okay? Click next, and we click on this, and we click finish, that's it. Now, if you wanna explore this, you can do it afterwards, but right now, we're gonna keep things as straightforward as possible. Now, you're gonna notice that this page has zero likes, and of course, you wanna be the first person to like it, we just click on like. I probably would have explained this in other videos, but I just want to let you know that having a number of likes is not so important. Uh, of course, we don't want to run a Facebook ad with like zero likes on the page. It doesn't build it, uh, like a lot of credibility with that. But at the same time, you don't have to spend a lot of money getting a lot of likes. Uh, you don't need like hundreds or thousands of likes uh, or even like five, six figure likes for that matter. And if you want to get likes just to get started, you can just invite your friends or some close people to like your FB page and just be done with it. And after that, you can start advertising on Facebook, okay?
So I just want to get that concern out of the way if anyone here thinks that you must have like six figure likes or five figure likes for people to take you seriously. Uh, I have ran uh, advertisements to Facebook pages that have like two digit likes, three digit likes, and I don't find that to be a problem at all. So with that said, I've just got that worry out of the way and that limiting belief for the matter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. So I'm just going to go through everything here for completion sake. So let's start with general. Okay, shortcuts, page visibility. Yeah, we can leave all this alone. Um, post and story sharing, by default, this is on. If you're planning to share Facebook page stories, you can leave it alone. But let's just say you don't plan to do that. We can click on disable. Okay, messages, people can contact me privately. Okay, we're going to leave that alone. We will leave all this alone here. In fact, all this is pretty much fine. Okay, the next part we're going to take a look at is profanity filter. Now, I would say it's better you rec I recommend that you leave it to medium if you're if you don't want this kind of like people potentially leaving this kind of like um, vulgar language in a comment section whatsoever. Just put medium. Uh, click save changes. Next thing we're going to take a look at is all right. All this is pretty much good to go okay so guess as you can see in terms of general settings there's not a lot for you to do let's go to page info and this is where you're going to enter your details for your fb page so the more detail is the better so you're going to add a simple description here i'm just going to call it um, german engineering at its finest and all things BMW. Okay, I'm just I'm just being very straightforward with that one. Of course, it is better that you write a proper description. So, for example, I'm just going to pretend that this is a BMW accessory Facebook page. So, we share all the latest uh, gadgets, accessories, and mods for BMW cars of all models. Okay, of course, assuming this is true, all right. So we click save changes. Okay, categories, cars, we're going to leave that be. Uh, contact number, if you're expecting people to contact you as a local business, you will put in your number. But if this is not relevant, we will tick on my page does not have a phone number. Okay, next up, website. I think this is something that you would definitely want to add in for sure. Uh, I'm going to just mix something up, be bmwmotoworks.com. This is not real, by the way, all right? I'm just making this up. Okay, this is the most recommended because I would expect you to have a website, but if you don't have a website, you can just click on, my page doesn't have a website, click on save changes, okay? But right now, I'm just gonna pretend that you have. Email, if you want people to contact you by email, you can do just that. So I'm just gonna put BMW Moto Works or support at bmwmotorworks.com. Assuming again, this is your email address. I'm just making this up. If you don't want to put it in here again, you just click on my page. My page doesn't have an email and then we're done. Okay. We click on save changes and that's it. All right. Now address. If you have a premise, then you will put an address here. If you don't, you just untick this and that's it. All right. Customers visit my business at my street address. Okay. Yeah, we can just leave this alone. All right, if you don't have an address, don't put it here. If you do, then you will, all right? Service area, again, if you are having a premise, then you'll put it put it here. But if you don't, that's okay. Now, the hours, I'm not gonna think too much about it. Again, if you're running an office or a restaurant or something like that, then you will put in your hours. Uh, if you're running a virtual business where you're open 24 seven, then you can just put always open, all right? It doesn't make sense for you to click on permanently closed, by the way, unless you're really, really out of business, but that's not what we're here for, right? Always open. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, the rest of these details here are fluff, in my opinion. If you have a privacy policy page, you can just put it here for completion sake. But frankly speaking, you can just leave all of this alone. Next. Let's go to messaging. Now, I'm not going to talk about this a lot here. Uh, I might cover this next time, but this is not so important that even personally, I do not configure this, okay? Maybe as 
your business grows as more people contact you on Facebook, then you can actually come here and set up your auto response message for people that uh, contact you and you can set up a simple message that says I'll get back to you or I've got your message I'll be talking to you very soon all right very simple uh, templates and tabs all right we're gonna do something over here okay so this is something that you will definitely want to minimize the clutter and you notice that by default you're using the default tabs which includes all of this like home post and the whole list here but to be very frank you don't need all of this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on turn off the default tabs and we're gonna start removing things that we don't need so for home it's always there post yep you definitely need that that's how people are gonna see your page uh, events now this is not necessary unless you are running an events company or, or you're planning to run Facebook events that's okay but if you're not gonna do that just click off and save so we have videos, all right, this is integral, this is important, photos is important, about is important, community is uh, important as well, and groups, yeah, you don't really need this, so we're gonna tick off and save. So what we are left with right now are the essential tabs that people will see on a page, and you can feel free to uh, adjust this around, just use your mouse and drag and drop around. But personally, I would prefer to, to make it this arrangement where the about comes first, followed by post, followed by uh, photos, videos, uh, community, and reviews. Okay, reviews is up to you. Some pages have it, but if you want to minimize a clutter, you can put reviews, turn off, and click save. All right. Now that's just me in making this as clutter free as possible. But if you're expecting customers to leave reviews, which could be a very good thing, by the way, it boosts up your social proof, then you can leave that on. So, with that said, if you want to start adding back those tabs, you can click on add a tab and select any of the tabs that's available in this list all right so yeah that's really all there is to it for the tab section and uh, as far as the rest goes you can pretty much leave all of this alone it's not so important right now uh, maybe one thing i would just like to add is instagram if you already have an instagram account that you would like to connect so all you got to do is just click on connect account put in your username and password login and you will be able to uh, connect your facebook page to your instagram account so that's something you can consider doing and again as for the rest it's not so important we can leave out the rest so let's go back to page and as you can see here for a brand new page that was just done in uh, the last several minutes including me explaining to you you can see it's actually very easy it's not difficult at all all right and of course to get things started, it's better that you put in some starting content so it doesn't look like a shallow, uh, hollowed out page. I would recommend that you put in the first uh, three to four posts. And you can put in small like an introduction. You can like share some of the things that you do, uh, what kind of results you can bring for your clients or your customers, what are the products you're selling. You can just put in like three or four posts just to get things started out, all right? And the cool part is that right now with Facebook, you can even schedule your post in advance for the next six months in fact okay you can share photos you can share videos or even written posts for that matter and it's as simple as that i'm not going to actually do that here because it's quite self-explanatory and it depends on your business okay so that's really all there is to it as far as creating a facebook page goes you can see how simple that is and how intuitive that is as well and i hope you do take note of some of the things that i um, highlight to you so that we can get started on a very good note and on the right foot before we advertise on Facebook. So there you go. Take care and talk to you again in the next video.